day. But Jess did eventually get tires mounted onto the wheels. A Dunlop shop. Now looks sick on her car. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my boss to move along Push myself to be the best, die with no regrets Live with every breath, see my message start to spread And I have so many dreams, when you hit your teens What is going on boys and girls and welcome back to Project Zangetsu. My name is Wele Tumashangu and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now, after my previous episode with Jess getting her new wheels fitted, um, I started to get a bit of a kick out of the new whole found footage thing. Um, you know, um, that, that genre is popular with films like The Blue Witch Project or Paranormal Activity. Uh, where it's a whole film centered around footage that was found um, around about a certain incident which is actually sort of like the main focus of the film. So that's kind of what yesterday's video was about. Even though it wasn't found footage, it was sent to me, but you get my point. Um, I actually came across some old footage of, um, of, of the day that I actually met this car if you could call it that uh, because the car was being driven by a client um, of a company that I used to work for a couple of years ago and um, it was my first time actually seeing a Subaru parked at that building so since 2003 which was the year that I actually discovered Subarus I've always had a fascination and an obsession um, with the car itself and also trying to you know talk to the owners I always made it like went out of my way to speak to Subaru owners and let them know that they've got a nice car and ask as many questions as I could about it, you know, uh, because of how interested I was. I remember going to a lot of dealerships and trying to get test drives and getting turned down. But in any case, um, that client came through and um, yeah, I helped him with his problem. But afterwards, I sort of got him to give me a ride in the car because I was still um, contemplating back then making um, a segment of my channel about cars because I am a petrol head always have been a petrol head um, but my YouTube channel started out with movie reviews and trailer reactions because I'm also a screenplay writer I am a filmmaker so that's why the YouTube channel started out in that genre because that's what I I knew more about cars were more of a thing that I was a fan of I mean even with the install videos that I'm doing now um, I'm sort of like still learning how to do the things that I'm showing you how to do. Um, so yeah, so I had this idea to actually make a, an automotive segment of my YouTube channel. Um, something that was inspired by my love for Top Gear, you know, I was a big fan of Top Gear. Just like a lot of automotive YouTubers I believe are. And um, I didn't yet have a name for it, hence the cringy intro that you're going to hear in the video that's coming up. What's going on y'all and welcome back to Ant Level Entertainment. This is going to be a very special episode. It is the inaugural episode of the Ant Level Petrol Head segment. I am here with Ivan Becker, the owner of a Subaru WRX. Uh, but in any case, to get back to the point, I found this footage and I thought maybe this would be a nice time to actually go down memory lane and be a bit nostalgic and look into the days just before I owned this beast. So how long have you had this car? Uh, good five years or so. Okay. No issues with it? No, no, it was my um it was my son's before it was mine. We had the motor we bought and so Okay. There's a next gen place which does those listen to it. Ah. But they also it's, it's they do these for racing, so they've got, there's a lot of racing spares for Subaru, 
Okay. It's a nasty German. <laughs> if you're in first gear and you're following the car and waiting for a gap, mm. and you, you have to remember to turn the steering wheel before you hit the pedal, but you smack it. Like torque steering No, you must just turn the wheels that way because if you floor it, it's that far away, you hit it. Before you can turn, you floor Wow, because of the boost and everything. It just... It's scary. <laughs> yeah. Ah, here we go! <laughs> ah, the power just swells up. <laughs> you guys enjoyed taking that trip down memory lane with me um, it's always a nostalgic exercise for me to think about the journey of um, where we started and where we are now when it comes to the ownership of this car um, like I've said in many videos before this has always been my dream car since 2003 revisiting the story um, in and of itself you know um, I don't know maybe I'm being a bit of a narcissist but I find inspiration from it, you know it's I find the same kind of inspiration that I would find from, you know, watching a movie about superheroes or a movie about someone going from rags to riches. It's a story that sort of inspires people um, about what's possible because you actually get to watch someone going from seemingly impossible circumstances and ending up where they never thought they would be or, end or ending up where they wanted to be and more. Um, it's always something that's inspiring because you see the transformation happened before you. It's almost like an example for what you could possibly do. So those movies have that effect on me. And my own story as well, when I think of certain things, has that same effect on me. So I thought I'll just share that with the rest of you guys. Hopefully you'll appreciate it. Um, I, I, I think you might, because I do, I have been appreciating a lot of the support you've been showing on my recent videos. So I just thought I'll drop in something like this not only to keep up with my upload schedule, of course, I'm not gonna lie, but um, to have a reward as, uh, in a way for you guys' support and uh, me sharing a little bit of myself with you. So I hope it resonates with you guys in one of those weird ways that I just mentioned now. And um, yeah, thanks for hanging out. As usual, I am Dwinatu Matamu, and that'll be the end of my rambling for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and click on the thumbs up icon and leave us a like. Um, and if you want to see more, please go ahead and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell um, so you are notified each and every time I drop new content on this channel. And for those of you that have made it this far in the video, uh, please go ahead and type in the words Hero's Journey in the comments below um, just so I know who has watched this far. And um, yeah, as usual, stay awesome. Take care of each other and stay tracing your dreams. Peace out. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it. Never listen.